Ciao guys, Trey Food here, so in this video I want to show you a little bit about the new updates coming very very soon on Windows Mixed Reality. I installed the new Insider build on the fast ring so you're gonna be able to see everything about it without it. having to install and compromise your computer. Yes, it's very unstable, but let's do together the flashlight feature with which we're gonna be able to see through the cameras of our Windows Mixed Reality headset, the new dashboard integration of Steam VR in the Cliff House. Without further ado, let's jump in and let's see all together. Here we are in the cliff house so pressing the windows button we're gonna have uh, as always the same dashboard that is this square that is the same we have uh, in uh, the hololens uh, to give an example with all the apps and everything and uh, you can see already something different there but uh, let's get uh, first in the flashlight that is the new feature that is very very hyped so let's see one two three bam and this is the flashlight so we're gonna be able to see through the cameras finally flashlight off what happened uh, we're gonna be able to see finally through the cameras of our windows mixed reality headset the resolution is not so great and i think it's using just the left camera i can see also the dust on it is this the dust what are these do you see all these uh, little dots you know guys let me know this is a uh, black and white it's VGA so it's a 480p resolution camera so you're not gonna be able to really uh, read so well uh, you can also see the field of view is not so great you can see over here uh, I don't know you're gonna be able to see in the camera but uh, you can see the corners of it and it's not stereoscopical so you're not gonna be able to um, understand really uh, the distance between stuff to really uh, grab something so, man, just to give an example let's see what you can see so if I take my phone uh, you can see the time uh, then everything gets pretty much burned out and uh, yeah black and white if I get closer uh, maybe it's a little bit better let's open Twitter just because I know that Twitter is there uh, is not really <laughs> really usable on that way but at least you can see if I, uh, you have a notification I guess this is not very usable in uh, in that case but I have to say the latency it's pretty pretty good as you can see if I get in and out from the camera view it, it's pretty much in the same place it should be like the latency is not too too much and that's a very very nice thing because at least we're gonna be able to have a little more realistic thing I really would like to have an API to use this camera also for like a hand tracking maybe and stuff like that because the vision is pretty pretty good and uh, that would be so easy or maybe use uh, just a glove uh, with some dots on them uh, like uh, I can imagine like the capto glove and then also a positional tracking with that too uh, using the camera that we have on our headset let's see if it's uh, usable anyway or not like uh, can we use our computer and uh, the answer is really no but for a, is a reason that is always attached to our flashlight of course so sometimes we are not gonna be able to really you know uh, like find always the spot where to use it uh, but the only way it could be like just to put a wow wow and uh it's not very usable but it's something you can do let's see also if we can just uh, use our brio and uh, see if it's possible to have a nice game with it if you don't know what is brio this is brio I'm gonna go with the mouth method again and let's see where I'm gonna get oh whoa, whoa, whoa. okay so not having sense of depth everything is very very hard let's get out of this flashlight you can do it by pressing the windows button and the grip together uh, but trying many times I have to say that doesn't work every time like now I turned off my controller for some reason okay uh, that's back so I always suggest to use uh, this toggle for now now let's go to the playroom and uh, let's see together the new SteamVR integration that is something that is very very interesting and 
finally they did it so uh, when you go in all apps the first thing that you notice that we're gonna have also the apps from uh, steam vr there's this new game bar app too and uh, all the games like never bound is a steam vr game we have onward i don't have many games installed on this computer but uh, this is the fact you can now put your games or steam vr stuff directly in the cliff house and that's very very nice it's a great addition and really it's so weird that they took so long to do it uh but hey uh it happens so let's not complain this time um everything will look like a frame so there's not really the option like to have uh a little miniature like we have in cases with uh the mixed reality games like in Minecraft we have these uh, we don't have the option yet to have something like that but for now I just wear uh, by the way it looks, uh, looks pretty pretty nice it's, it's clean there's nothing wrong with it but uh, it's not of course uh, a 3d object like in a halo helmet on the Minecraft so uh, let's get right in a steam VR so we're gonna be able to see the new dashboard And here we are, we are recording, so we are in the Steam VR home. Uh, that it works like uh, perfectly, like always. But by the way, let's see together now the dashboard. So when you press the Windows button, uh, what's going on there? When you press the Steam button, uh, this happened, that is a bug, uh, but it wasn't happening before. <laughs> but by the way, this is the dashboard we have, where we have the option to record, and that's what I'm doing right now. The only thing, like there's this thing, I don't know if you can see it here, uh, with a little camera dot it is very uh, not nice to have it because it's right in my eye here we have a um, to get a screenshot here we have the volume rocker so we can go up and down with the volume and here we have the flashlight so yes the flashlight we work even inside uh, steam vr games and that's very very nice uh, we turn it off and here we have another toggle that is my favorite actually that is the steam vr dashboard so uh, we can still use the thumbstick to get in but i think that is going to disappear because it's probably going to be able to use that thumbstick more in the future but uh, with that we're going to be able to get in the dashboard and get out and it's very very easy and super integrated inside uh, the only thing that i have to complain is the fact that when we get back to the cliff house we're gonna lose everything happening in uh, in the game or stuff so it's gonna close it so we're not gonna be able still to jump from the game to the cliff house to do something on the browser and stuff but every time that we get to the, cl uh, the cliff house we're gonna stop the game and that's something that they have to work on because really takes out a lot of uh, possibility and takes out a lot of uh, use for the cliff house that is always like is a kind of useless by the way i don't know do you use the cliff house because i don't at all i just get in steam vr and that's it but uh let me know really maybe it's just me now uh without having a steam vr activated and stuff let's start to get in a game like neverbound that is very very recommended i'm loving this game And now the thing that I notice, at least with this game, then uh, will depend on some games, but uh, this game were working perfectly. Uh, but now there's some distortion in the lens uh, and that's not really the right stereoscopical view. When you start directly for the cliff house, some game they react in the wrong way. Now, this is a game that is not officially supported for Windows Mixed Reality yet. Uh, but uh, you know this is the case let's try with the, another game uh, just to see if it works and here we are in onward onward like uh, loaded like perfectly uh, so no problem at all on uh, this side and of course we always have our dashboard we can uh, always get in the flashlight check the computer check around everything is getting a little laggy as you can see uh, but everything is useful 
And yeah, we're back. So what do you think about it, guys? Because I think that it's a very, very nice addition. The only thing I would like to see probably is the stereoscopical view uh, with the camera. So probably use two cameras instead of one, because like that, uh, when you're too close and you stay in there a little too long, it's like in the HTC Vive that you kind of get a little sick. And also like you take out the, uh, the perk to have two cameras instead of one and not having a stereoscopical view you don't really have the sense of depth and stuff and because we don't have resolution at the end at least that would be a nice addition maybe you want to grab a beer grab a drink or uh, whatever you want uh, while you are in uh, in the game or maybe just use your mouse a little even if you can't really see so well and the other thing that i don't really like is the fact that it's always attached to uh, your controllers of course it's called flashlight for that uh, but it would be nice to be a little independent so have the possibility to use your hands also uh, without having to use the other one or put it in your mouth to to really uh, get to the view that you want. By the way, the Steam VR integration is starting to be really, really good and nice. I really like the fact that I can just start an application directly for the cliff house and it's something that should be done from the beginning. Uh, luckily, it arrived right now. But the fact that every time that we get back to the cliff house, the games are interrupted and something uh, is just doesn't make sense like it takes out all the use that we could get from the cliff house because i can really use it because if i use it i lose my game and everything it's just close if i like if you press alt f4 like it's gone that's it and doesn't make sense at all anyway guys that was all if you liked the video like if you didn't like the video dislike it's fine too let me know in the comment below what you think about it uh what are the stuff that you would improve by yourself and remember to subscribe to the channel for more about VR and tech in general. I see you guys in the next video. Ciao!